Hello and welcome to the Slingshot channel. Today I want to show you a new arrow shooting slingshot that I've made. And this time it resembles more a traditional bow. And I made it so that people can easily build their own bow at home, maybe with the kids and so on. Um, because this is actually easy to make, but it performs like a standard recoil bow. So you draw out just as normal, have a pretty long draw with this. But you can always attach a manual release, it's easier to shoot. It also has uh, string stoppers, also made from plywood. And I made these just because otherwise you would get very nasty hand slaps. This protects you from them. And also uh, make sure that the release of the arrow is more clean. So let's shoot. So, as you see, it shoots well with commercially made and sold arrows, but I've also made one from a fairly thick wooden rod that you can buy in a hardware store. And I attach this mean little tip, broad hat. And it's also a lot longer as the commercially made arrow. So, as you see, I'm using the full length of the arrow, just like this, all the way. So changing the rubber bands is really easy. So I take this one, which has about 50 pounds of a draw, and simply slip them over the, over the notches here, on both sides. Then I take the toy one, which really is about 25 pounds, and attach it just like that, ready for business. So we have three different types of rubber. This is like children's size, very easy to draw for light arrows. And this is really strong rubber. It's uh, Thera Band Black. And this is the Brutal Spare Gun Rubber, which has about as much draw as the strongest English longbows. So now we put on the Spare Gun Rubber, which is really, really heavy. I mean, the draw is about if fully drawn, it's about 120 pounds. Um, let's fire it. Be careful when you shoot homemade arrows with this rubber. See what happened when I tried it. Always wear a glove. So I made this mean little arrow specifically for the spare gun rubber. So as you see, it's a fun weapon. Here's a few instructions about how to make it. It's not a full how-to, just a rough one. So you start by drawing the outline on a sheet of plywood. It doesn't have to be exactly like this, just roughly. And then saw it out with a jigsaw or a bandsaw or whatever. Now you can make some grip scales and attach them with glue. I use uh, two component epoxy glue. And then glue it on and lightly press on it in the vise. And then use the rasp to file it flush. On both sides, of course. And then it is pretty much time for rounding the handles. Round them as long as um, they're really comfortable for your hand. And when you're done, then use the file to uh, smoothen out the surface. Next, use the rasp and file for the grooves. And then the string stoppers. Cut them out of plywood and use glue to put them on. And um, then you can use a little paracord. And I also used a little bit of Dacron bowstring stuff to make them nicer. That's the finished bow, all set up for shooting. So that's it for today. I hope you liked it. Thanks and bye bye.